Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to make a quilt. Now we're going to actually make a sensory quilt today. So it's going to have lots of different fabrics and textures. So really great for sensory. And we're also going to incorporate some fidget elements into it as well. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to make some 3D pinwheels. And these are really easy to make. This is a really nice starter quilt project. So I've already cut out all my pieces using my my Cricut Maker and all my squares are exactly the same size. Now I've done them at three and a half inches square but you can do three inches, four inches, it's completely up to you. So each full square will have four pieces to it and you can see that these make great fidget items. They're a really really lovely quilt. So we've got our four base pieces and then we've got our triangles which are then going to become our pinwheels. So to make these pinwheels all you're going to do is you're going to get one of your squares and you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to fold it in half again. You're then going to place it onto your fabric square and you're going to sew down and you're going to do this for all four pieces. These pinwheel pieces are really easy to make as well, exactly the same as before. You're going to get your square, you're going to fold it in half and you're then going to get your bottom corner and just fold it to the other side. And again, it makes a really lovely little pinwheel. You then want to place it along the inside edge and you're going to sew down the long side and you're going to do this for each of your four squares. So you can see that we've sewn each of our square pieces now and we've also done our other ones as well. So you're then going to line them up and all you're going to do is you're just going to flip them over so you're then going to sew down this side and you're going to flip this side over and you're going to sew down this side as well. You're then going to do exactly the same with this one. You're just going to line them all up and you're then going to flip them and sew and then flip them and sew. So you'll end up with two halves. Now if you're using cotton and then cotton with felt, you can just use a normal sewing needle. But if you're going to use thicker materials such as felt on felt, leatherette, faux leather, faux suede, or something like a thick velvet, you will want to consider using something like a quilting needle in your machine. Once you've sewn your two sides together, you're then going to place them on top of each other and you're just going to sew down the middle so they become one big square. Once your squares are assembled, it will look like this, or this, or this. So the next thing you want to do is start working out how you want your quilt to look. So the best way to do this is to lay it out on the floor or a large surface and just start playing with all your squares and working out where you want them to sit. So once you've got your quilt figured out, the easiest way to do it is in strips. So you can do strips going that way or strips going that way. It's completely up to you. So you've got your strip and you're just going to put them face to face. You're going to sew your first one down. You're then going to open it up. You're then going to come in with your next one. You're going to place it face down on top of each other and you're going to sew along. And then again, you're going to go to your last piece and you're going to place them face down and you're going to sew along here. And you're just going to continue to do that for all of your strips. Once you've sewn your strips all together, you're then going to come in and you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to place the strips on top of each other face to face and then you're going to sew all the way down and you're going to do this for each line of two. So we've then got the next two lines and we're going to put those face to face and we're going to sew all the way down 
and you'll then end up with sections of strips. Once you've sewn your strips into two, you're then going to come in and exactly the same thing, you're going to face face them. And you're then going to sew down where they meet. And it doesn't matter whether you've got two strips, four strips, six strips, you're going to do exactly the same for all of these until they're all fully attached. The thing to say that when you are sewing your pieces together, I always go in with straight stitches and then I reinforce them with a zigzag stitch. This just really makes sure that your quilt pieces are nice and sturdy and that they're not going to break apart. So for the next step you're going to need some wadding or downing. You can get this from any good kind of sewing store, most craft stores, eBay, Amazon. It's readily available. I will pop in some links in the description. And when it's rolled out it looks like this. You can get it in different thicknesses as well. So all we're going to do is we're going to lay our wadding down and then we're going to lay our quilt on top of it and then we're just going to sew all the way around the edges on all four sides. Now when sewing this you want to give it a nice seam allowance, a few centimetres is fine and you will want to reinforce this with a zigzag stitch. Just a tip when you're sewing and you come to an edge and you want a continuous sew line, you're just going to make sure your needle is down. You're going to lift your foot up. You're going to turn your fabric around and you'll see that your needle is still in place. You're going to line it up and you're then going to bring your foot back down. You can then continue to sew. So this is a quilting foot and you'll see it's got a guideline here. And this is going to go in between each of our squares to give us that quilting effect. So I'm just going to remove my current foot, add my quilting foot, and you're going to allow this piece to go along the well and it will allow you to sew in between each of your squares which will give you that really nice quilted effect. So once your quilting is all done we're then going to add our back this is just a minky type fabric, a fleece fabric. It's really soft and lovely. Now you want to make sure that you do them front to front and you're going to place them on top of each other. And you're then going to sew all the way round just with a straight running stitch and then a zigzag stitch to reinforce it. But you are going to leave about six inch gap. This gap is so you can then turn your quilt inside out. Once you've turned your quilt inside out, you're then going to fold over your opening and you can then sew all the way around so that you completely close up your quilt and you're going to reinforce it by sewing all the way around as well. Mm -hmm. 